What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Good Game Reviews. Uh, I apologize, first of all, because I had to record this on my phone again. I don't really like recording on my phone, but, you know, right now I don't really have much of a choice. It's just issues with my computer and stuff. So as soon as I get that figured out, I'll be back to the normal recording process. But for now, I just have to go off the iPhone. So I'm trying to make this quick. Um... I wish I could have gotten to this last night, but I was watching the game at work, and as soon as I got off work, I was out like a light. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, as far as good, because I like to start off with the good, I don't really have too many people to point out. Obviously, it was a, a 3 to 24 score. You know, the Rams, you know, end up coming away with the victory. I, I predicted a close game yet again, and I was wrong yet again. But I did not think that this offense was going to be this anemic versus the Rams. I thought, if you know, they I thought they would at least be able to move the ball on the ground. I wasn't counting on them to really, you know, move it through the air a lot. But I was at least expecting them to move it uh, on the ground. And I completely underestimated the strength of the defensive line. I knew it was strong, but I didn't think it was keep them the three points strong. Now, granted, they still end up finding ways to get the ball into the red zone. They got the ball into the red zone four times. One of them came from a short punt where Gunnar Oseski was able to return it uh, well, and he got it. Um, he got it in the red zone, but they only came away with three points. So, I mean, offense is still an issue. Um, Coming up against, you know, some of these heavier teams, uh, if the Patriots were to go into the playoffs, now it's not really, a, it doesn't really seem like a possibility. It's, it, this was it. You know, they had to get this game. Uh, they didn't. So, I get, you know, we just have to pretty much look towards next year. Mathematically, I don't know, but the chances are pretty much, you know, they're gone now. So, um, as far as... Things to look to look at and say, oh, that was that was good. Um, you could point a light at Damian Harris. Now his numbers weren't, you know, anything big. Uh, it was just eleven carries, fifty yards. Um, he's yet again moved the ball nicely. Averaged like four point five during the game. Uh, unfortunately, he went out with an injury. So, you know, when things were already looking bad, they just kind of got worse. Um, but I mean, he was he was pretty much the only you know kind of bright spot there, and it it just didn't look it it just didn't look well when he went out. Um, as far as people on the defense, the only you know I guess credit I could give is to Adrian Phillips. He had ten tackles, uh, ten total tackles. Excuse me, um, two assists. Uh, yet again, he led the Patriots in tackles. He was all over the field. Um, it just wasn't enough as far as just the team effort goes. You know, they, they weren't able to, you know, I guess, stop the uh, Rams in like those critical moments. There was like every so every now and again, they would like have these good stops and then boom, they'll convert for a first down. Whether it was third and long or third and short, it didn't matter. So... I mean, it was just a real long. It was a really long day for the defense. Um, if I could give some credit to somebody on special teams, I would give. I'll give it to two people. Gunnar Oseski won for his you know return abilities. He was still nice as far as returning the ball, and um, excuse me, Jake Bailey. Yeah, uh, he had a he had a he actually had a really nice night. He actually had a better night than Hecker did. Uh, which was surprising. He downed four balls inside the 20. Um, you know, it was at one point, you know, it just seemed like every time he, he he punted the ball, it landed somewhere inside the five. I mean, the, the dude was phenomenal um, yet again. But when your special teams players are your best players coming out of a game, I mean, yeah. Um, as far as the defense's ability to stop, you know, the passing attack, 
they actually did a pretty good job. Uh, Jared Goff only, you know, attempted 25 times to pass the ball. He only had 137 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Um, that interception coming from Miles Bryant, of all people. Miles Bryant was uh, the only one who recorded a turnover last night. Um, and, you know, he, he was uh, at first. Initially, they thought it was a touchdown. They thought it was a pick six, but he was down by contact. So, you know, that the Patriots had to, you know, try to, you know, move the ball in the end zone from there. But that's when Cam Newton was picked off. So nothing really came of that. Um, it was really in the run game where they just got decimated. You know, Akers pretty much destroyed them last night. 29 carries, 171 yards. Um, it it just didn't seem at any point that night that they seemed that they could stop them. You know, Akers just, he was able to run the ball whenever he felt like it. And it was really just a pain to watch, to be honest. Um, I guess I could really start moving into the bad because I'm pretty much done with the good. Um, bad, Cam Newton, most definitely. Um, the pick six, while... I can understand, you know, Damian Harris ends up getting kind of like held up by Aaron Donald, but it wasn't an illegal play. So I feel like he should have been able to just, you know, since that, oh, I'm not going to be able to get it to him. Let me just at least keep it. Try to make something with my legs. If not, let me fall down. I'm already in the red zone. I'm in Nick Foles range. Kick the ball. Go up three to ten. Next possession, you have a chance to, you know, do something because it's, I mean, it's obvious that you're able to move the ball. So fall down, allow your team to get the, you know, get those three points, but don't throw the ball when you see that the person that you're throwing to is held up. Nothing good is going to come of that. Um, as far as, you know, more bad, I guess you can throw Sonny Michelle in there. He tried, he has seven carries, only 22 yards. Um, if I if I really the offense overall just you know no production from any of the you know any of our offensive players like that uh, or at least just not enough you know there were guys out there who were trying but it just wasn't enough to you know overcome the defense's you know inability to stop the run so when it was time for the Patriots to get on uh, get on with offense they couldn't get anything moving it just it just seemed like everything just stalled out. You know, you have one good play and then stall out. And it was a lot of third and long situations, um, which, you know, and that, and that was like early on in the game, a lot of third and long situations, which is not a strength of this team. This team is not built to, you know, you know, convert those third and long. This is like we move the ball nicely, run the ball nice, get into a third and short, short situation. We either hand it off or Cam keeps it convert for a first down, keep the drive moving. But third and longs where we have to where we were forced to pass, not a good outcome. Um as far, you know what? If I could, I would give some, you know, some honorable mentions to some people. I'll give an honorable mention to Nikhil Harry. Now, Nikhil Harry had some of the best catches that I've seen since he's been on this team last night. He had an amazing cat, uh, catch uh, on the sideline. I mean, well, on the outside. Um, he pretty much jumped up for it. It was a contested ball situation, which is, a, which is what I thought the Patriots drafted him for, you know, these contested ball situations. Uh, but it was one of those situations he goes up, Pretty much snatches the ball over the over the um, receiver. I mean, the defender's head comes down with it. It was an amazing catch. Uh, he had another catch just like it um, across the uh, across the middle of the field, where he you know he gets another catch, uh, contested type catch. Um, he made a nice move. He was he was pretty much the best receiver last night. If that I mean, and that's that's pretty odd to say, but. I mean, it was, I mean, it is what it is. You know, he, he was making his catches last night. Um, but only 49 yards, 
he still has a lot to do. He still ha he still has to step up. Um, yeah, that's really all I got to say about him. Um, also, I guess I could give some credit to Byron Coward. He had the late game sack, only sack of the game. Um, forced them, you know, deeper towards the uh, the Rams' own end zone. Um, so it was, I mean, it was a it was a nice play. He was able to, you know, fight his way through the middle, get a sack on on golf. But you know, that was pretty much it as far as you know, just defensive plays. I had already mentioned uh, Brian's interception. That was pretty much it as far as defensive plays go. Um, at least notable defensive plays. Uh, as far as anybody else, if I could give anybody else any kind of credit, um, I guess you could give Juwan Bentley some credit. He was second with nine tackles. He was involved in tackling, but, you know, he, he, he also had a pretty nice, um, I remember this, it was a pretty nice tackle against Akers where it was a third and short situation, third and, uh, third and first. He... He has the initial contact where it seems like Akers is just going to come through that hole, but he gets in that gap, hits him right there on right there on point, stops him in place, um, but Akers just happens to fight through it and he gets the first down anyway. They don't let him move too much after that, but you know it was already first down after that. So yeah, overall it just wasn't a good game for this team. Um, Offensively, they were lacking. Defensively, they couldn't stop the run. Not no no problems with the pass. Just wasn't able to stop the run. And you know we've seen what happens when you know this Patriots team can't stop you know teams from running the football. Um, and you know wasn't a lot of opportunities to you know be productive on special teams. They just I mean. They didn't really have a lot of opportunities to do anything on special teams like that because the Rams weren't, you know, giving them those chances. It was pretty much kicking it, you know, um, out of bounds and, you know, making them do touchbacks. You know, at one point they kicked out of bounds and they got a penalty for it. But I guess they, you know, I don't know if that was intentional and they just thought, you know, it don't matter. They're not going to really be able to move it like that or, you know, if it was on accident. But. I mean, they was they was making sure that the Patriots weren't going to be able to return, you know, too many balls. So, I guess that was pretty much the game plan. You know, stop the special teams' ability to, you know, don't give them any opportunities to make plays, and just run the ball down the Patriots' throat. It was a lot of two tight end situ, uh, two tight end formations. Uh, some things that the Rams didn't really do coming into this game, but they did a lot of it. This game, I think the number was like 43 or 45 times where they put in these two tight end packages and just ran the ball. Um, obviously, the Patriots were not prepared for it, so it pretty much, you know, just wiped out any game plan that they had at the beginning. Just complete mess, really. Um, but as far as the game, that's it. Um, Patriots fall to 6-7. and seven, Rams go to 9-4. and four. Uh, next game is against the uh, Miami Dolphins. Uh, Miami Dolphins have to play the uh, Kansas City Chiefs this um, this Sunday. So, you know, there's still a lot of things that can happen. Like I said, mathematically, it is a very, 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 very long shot. But there's a lot of things that can happen mathematically to where if this team falls to nine and seven, I don't, you know, possibly, but. There's a, there's a lot of good teams in the AFC, and I don't think it's you know it's re realistic that so many teams just collapse at this point and give the, ch the Patriots a chance to get into the playoffs. So that's my thoughts on it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, until next time, I'm out.